Coronavirus research just got a big boost in our area thanks to more than $400,000 in grants through the UC College of Medicine. Gave our investigators a week to get them in and they did. They mustered all their forces and came up with some um, fantastic uh, ideas. Projects getting off the ground now will look at everything from how we should best protect ourselves with homemade masks. And if we could just identify the best uh, material that you can make your masks with, that would be, you know, uh, a really nice um, step forward. To how to best treat patients. Uh, I hope that we can find effective drugs, but we have to make sure that we're not causing more harm than good. And so we have to do that in a, in a, in a carefully controlled trial where we can measure the outcomes. 11 projects are getting underway, some of which will ask people who contract coronavirus to participate in studies that could benefit future patients. The university is also building a biorepository that will allow further research projects. One of the big answers they'll be working on, does hydroxychloroquine, a drug President Trump has advocated for, actually help? The problem with that drug is that it hasn't been in a, a rigorous study, and so there's a lot of things that we don't know about it, and especially how it's going to act in this particular patient population. Not only were these grants put on the fast track for proposal and for approval, the research could move pretty quickly as well. We could start seeing results within just a couple months. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.